What's up everybody? My name is Aaron. Uh, this is my little video demonstration below. will. going to be going over the front plank. Uh, pretty simple but effective exercise. Um, it is an anterior core movement uh, as far as what it's working. Uh, I'm going to go over the setup and performance and then three common errors and kind of the internal uh, or verbal cues that you might say to yourself or a client that can correct these common mistakes. All right, so I'll demonstrate the setup and I'll kind of walk through it. All right, so again, pretty easy exercise. The idea here is we want to keep our back as flat as possible. Uh, so basically the essential setup is you're going to start with your feet about shoulder width apart, uh, forearms out in front of you or brought together in fists as is commonly seen. Um, start laying on the ground to pick yourself up. You're going to engage your core, obviously your abdominal muscles, engage those as well as you're engaging your lower back and your glutes um, in order to raise yourself up. You're going to keep looking forward at the ground the entire time. So again, you keep that back nice and flat um, and focus on your breathing the whole time. Uh, generally, you do these for, you know, you have a stopwatch in front of you, so you might do a 30 second hold and rest or whatever your body can take. Obviously, there's people who go for a super long time. So just to demonstrate one more time, feet shoulder width apart on the ground, forearms out in front of you, looking straight down and you're engaging your your abdominal muscles and then your lower back and glutes as well to raise yourself up. Alright, so your three common errors. Um, the first one is going to be dropping your hips. So you're going to be in the movement and you might come down like this, as you can see. So kind of your cue to fix that is pulling that belly button towards the spine. So you're in the position, you drop your hips. You know you drop your hips, you draw that belly button up towards the spine. The other common mistake is the exact opposite of that, which is you're raising your hips up too much. So you're here, and now you're, you're doing this, right? So how you offset that is you're gonna engage your glutes and your lower back. So if I contract my glutes, contracting my glutes is gonna actually drive my hips down. <clears throat> and then the last one is raising or dropping your head, uh, which can lead to, you know, some neck injury. So, you might, again, you're supposed to be looking straight forward, but you might be able to do this or come down like this. And so your cue there is to think about your neck and your head as an extension of your back. So again, you want to keep it completely flat, your back, so that includes your neck and your head. So what's nice to do is just pick a spot on the ground and focus on that for the entire movement. Um, other than that, that's it. Hope you guys like something.